Hello and welcome, Zevlin here. Let's play some more of our Hindustan campaign in Europe Universalis 4. We're about to... All these pop-ups are about... Um, they rethink their military access situation every time you restart the game. Um, we're about to go back to war with Persia. And maybe Oirite. I'm not 100% sure which way I want to go with this yet. Um, just... I do need to continue to be at war. It is getting late in the campaign. And we have not gotten our way too far outside of India yet. Um, which is a little unfortunate in my mind. I may have been able to be a little bit more aggressive one way or the other. I think maybe I was a little focused eastward. Um, instead of westward. But I don't know. We'll see. Let's just keep chipping away. So, I am waiting on the next tech group instead of taking this idea. I could build tons, tons, tons more armies. So many more armies. I guess I'm waiting on money. Because I could queue up another template here. So we definitely have our work cut out for us here, um, allied with the Ottomans. I'd love to fight Persia. Unfortunately, they will not join us. Uh, let's see, coalition against me. Who all is in this coalition? Just, all right, all right, not a problem. Do I have any sort of claims on you? I could feed more to Afghanistan. Which seems like a decent idea. Reactionaries, huh? Hmm. Should I help out my vassal? I don't I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so let's see what kind of war we can go to with the oil, right? Well first let's um Send our missionary to do some work. I have loans, huh? Ah, well, it's going to be a while before I can repay that. Well, not too much. Look, I'm making 65 ducats a month. Man, okay, that's just the next thing I need to focus on doing. Alright, if I declare war on the Orrite, the Ottomans will not come. Why not? Because they're fighting in another war, and they're in debt. And they have a tiny bit of war exhaustion. Hmm. And my Diplo rep sucks. Suppose I could continue to improve relations with them. Who are you fighting, by the way? Oh, just Armenians? Well, my idea of breaking up uh, whoever it was that was here before isn't really working out so well for me. Because the Ottomans are just eating them. I might be able to ally or vassalize Bashkiria. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, that seems like a good idea. Let's start improving relations with them as well. In anticipation of basically diplo-vassalizing them. What about Crimea? They'd be good. Distance between borders. So when I get a little closer, Crimea may be a good person. Um, let's see. Well, they don't have quite as many claims around here as I thought they might. What about Crimea? There's a little bit I can feed to Crimea. Crimea. Hmm. Okay, so what I need... is for the Ottomans to come into the war with the Orrite.
then I can declare war on Persia independently and just make sure that I peace out with Persia first. Alright, let's repay this loan. So I don't forget. New technology time. Diplotech. Trade efficiency might be nice. I uh, don't need boats. No, I don't think I'm going to take it yet. If we get capped, I'll take it. But I'll need lots and lots of Diplo points for peace deals and such. Alright, well... Let's see. Where are you at? Well, crap. I don't have any Diplomats. Um, suppose I could pull back the one in improving relations with the Ottomans, but unfortunately that's the one that's most likely going to get me into this war, so I suppose we just kind of wait. Um, I don't like waiting. Alright, well we have lots of money. Fair about a fair bit of manpower. Let's just keep building stacks of armies. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Spare no expenses. Now, the reason why I do that, I've explained this in the past, but just in case, um, you get fifty points for a half a percent inflation. For 75 points, you can reduce inflation by two. Now, this works out best because it is admin power. Um, it works out best if you get admin power or even military power, which I kind of hold as equal points. Diplo power, I still kind of devalue a little bit. But even if I devalued it at, say, 75 percent, um, it would still work out to be worthwhile if you take that event every single time. It's definitely worthwhile if you have some way of reducing this or, you know, you naturally go negative um, because of ideas or something. Uh, right now, mine's naturally positive, but that's fine. I'll have to decrease it every once in a while anyway. So it really doesn't hurt to take that event. It is a net gain in the long run. Yeah, I really don't want to take the admin tech either. I really do need to start fighting so I have something to spend my points on. Alright, um, Ottomans are out of this war, so they should be willing to accept. It's my relationship, uh, of course. Afghanistan leading vassal. I don't have a royal marriage with you. Let's do that first. Who else do I not have a royal marriage with? Yeah, everybody. That's fine. Oh, there's a reason why I didn't have a royal marriage with them. Because I was annexing them. And it's just about done. Actually, I'm about two years away from that still. Because I'm only gaining one point a month. Alright, all right. The Ottomans will come into the war, so will Hessa, which, eh, not too worried about that. The Ottomans will probably take care of them for me. So, I think I'm going to declare war based off of Afghan claims. Um, feed a bunch of crap to Afghanistan. I'm not sure what would happen if Hmm. Not entirely sure what would happen if I have a war for Afghan claims and then I annex. I guess we'll find out. Or we'll finish the war fast. I'm not sure. 
How big is Jin? They will not come into the war right now, but that doesn't mean they won't in the future. It doesn't look like they're very big. I'm not even seeing them on the map over here. Already winning naval battles. And I suppose I should raise my maintenance. Good, I am still making money. Alright, the Ottomans did come into this war, meaning I can declare war on Persia now. Well, in a month. Make sure my vassals are set to aggressive. They are. My vassals should be able to win this war for me. I mean... I mean, really, they should just be able to win it for me. I don't know. I might have to get up there. Go up there, Bluchistan. There's a reason why I have you set as a freaking march. So you can do my dirty work for me. Oh, well. All right, let's uh, look here. Let's declare war on Persia. Should I feed more to Bluchistan? I think so. I like feeding my vassals. I may take some provinces in the way on the way, like I'd love to work my way up this way so I can start declaring war up here. It won't show me what they're if they would join if I they weren't in a war, which would be good to know. But I'll just make sure to peace out Persia first so I don't end up at war with the Ottomans. That would be a bad time. Grab our awesome leader. Let's move this way with him. I may as well move some troops into this whole situation up here. Start occupying them at least. Alright, gain some cores. Speaking of which, I haven't looked at this in a while. Hey, I can start coring that now. Sweet. I'm guessing that's up here? Yes, that is. This little knife I cut Russia in half. So much fun. There's two Russias. <laughs> Love that. I love also that the autonomy is set to 75% over here for all these provinces because it's considered distant, distant overseas now, which is, just, I, I don't know, I just love it. It's fantastic. All right. Start fabricating claims on Russia now. I can fabricate so many claims. Um, let's just start doing it. Not even going to pay attention to which ones are which. I uh, probably should, but I just need claims. I need all the claims. Alright, squishing Persia. So good. So with that in mind, let's just split this army up. I think that'll be good. Yeah, alright. And we'll charge forward with my big stack here. Make sure that no armies are going to get in the way of my sieging armies. In fact, I think this is all their army up here, so we should chase up this way. Checking on my order right war a little bit. Looks fine. Good, we caught them separately. Just what I wanted to do.
Alright, well I suppose I should take another stack of troops. Who are already nicely split into groups of six. Start occupying the rest of this. Okay. Lose four. Those four. Perfect. Alright, how's your army doing? You still have a decent little stack of dudes. I'm gonna roll another leader here. He's not quite so good as this one. But that's fine. Let's go searching out Oirite's army. No idea where they might be. There's not very much there. I'm guessing they're over here somewhere. I'll leave these fairly decently sized stacks just in case the way right are around. But I will start some sieging. Same with this group. Did those four, so here, 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 and here. Men of Science. Lose or gain piety. I think I'm still on the uh, gaining piety bandwagon here. I think that's the best thing for us. In fact, the... benefits of having low piety aren't really that important to us. I mean, we're making plenty of money, so the national tax modifier would just be a little bit more money. National manpower modifier, I mean, we're to the point where we have basically infinite manpower, especially if I continue to build some military, you know, manpower type buildings. Technology cost, it help with the tech cost of you know, military, but I don't think I'm going to be taking too many more techs. So, not really worthwhile, so we're going to just keep this spiked at 100 as long as possible. Alright, where'd they go? Need to get down here to protect my sieges. Oh, great man died. And we can convert more things. Um, let's see. Great man. Military dude. We won a plus two. Uh, land force limits modifier discipline. Discipline. Yeah, of course. I have more force limits than I even know what to begin to do with at this point. Alright, we are going to head over here. They do have some rebels that I'm going to take care of for them. Because I have stacks of dudes coming up that I will end up fighting. Aha! Aha! Here they are. And of course I'm way the hell over here. So let's rush back this way if we can. My vassals are definitely doing some work. One of my personal sieges is over. That's good. I think I sieged all the way up to here, so let's move him to Shakti. And these wars are going quite nicely. Alright. Uh, still no military tech. It's unfortunate. And Rebel Uprising. Malabari Nationalist. It's down here somewhere. Has to be. Why are you so upset, Malabari Nationalists? Malabari Nationalists are probably in Malabar, if I had to guess. So that's way down here. Everybody's taken that uh, 
hold land in India mission so they keep getting claims on my stuff come at me bro come at me Netherlands come on let's do it Russia doesn't want to mess with me all right I have lots of money lots of money um, and a decent amount of manpower uh, claims 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 so let's go ahead and build another in fact I think five is appropriate Oh, now I'm losing money all of a sudden. What the hell? Why? Oh, well, whatever. Let's just raise war taxes. Oh, boy. Alright, what happened to my large stack? Oh, here it is. Who are you? Hassa? Ottomans are wrecking Hassa. Oh, so good. And they're occupying it and not giving it to me. Mm. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to have some personal war score with Hassa. I really don't want the Ottomans to get anything. Clearly. I mean, <laughs> they're big enough. So let's actually look at seeing if we could piece out the Hassa individually now. Uh, wait, what? Persia? Was it Oirite? Oh, they're allied with Oirite. I don't know. For some reason, I was thinking Persia. Alright, sue for peace. Um, don't really want to give anything to the Hassa. It would become a Hindustan vassal, but the war score is way too high. Okay, that's fine. I can make them release Najd for 100 war score. That's pretty significant. Fifty-one. I'm afraid the Ottomans are going to piece out separately and take a bunch of crap. So I kind of just... Oh, really? They won't even take a white piece right now? That's a problem. Let's see. Lose prestige or national... Under I lose the prestige. It's fine. Right, we're winning some sieges here. Uh, yeah, definitely just keep moving forward. Keep advancing the line here. Which I could do here as well. ones of these should I be giving to who? Let's look at... Yeah, you've literally not claimed anything. That's stupid. These four need... Oops. Crap. Alright, this one. You need to be Afghani. You need to be Afghani. You need to be Afghani. Ah, not done sieging there yet. Okay. I need to flip this last one. There it is. Flip it to be Afghani. And move forward. I think I'll move this stack over here to start sieging in this general area. In fact, let's go ahead and do that now. Just start over here. So, like, like that. <clears throat> okay, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and take a break. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.